Let us see some of the operations on signals. Operations on signals and completion. Students can be able to perform the operations on signals. And the operation performed on the independent variable of time scaling, time reversal or reflection, time shifting, time scaling. If x of t be a continuous time signal, then y of t equal to x of a t. If in case 1, if a is greater than 1, then the signal y of t is a compressed version of x of t. And second case, if a lies in between 0 to 1, then the signal y of t can be expanded, can is an expanded version of x of t. Example, this is x of t. If we want to find the value of x of 2t, that is, we are, that is the time may be compressed. And if you want to find x of t by t, it might be expanded. And if that let in the case of discrete time, let x of n be the discrete time signal. Then y of n equal to y of x of k into n. First case, if k is greater than 1, some values of the discrete time signals are lost. And the second case, if k lies between 0 to 1, then the signal y of n is an expanded version of x of n. This are the example that is this is x of n and here x of 2 into n. If it x of 2 into n, the signal can be compressed. The next one is time reversal property. Let x of t denote a continuous time signal. Then y of t equal to x of minus t and y of t is the reflected version of x of t about t equal to 0. And this is an example. This is x of t and this is x of minus t. That is it reflect that is it just um, reflected with respect to origin. Time shifting property. Third one. Let x of t denote a continuous time signal. Then y of t equal to x of t minus t naught. Where t naught is the same amount of time shift. Case one. If t naught is greater than zero, then x of t is shifted to the right. That is the delayed version. And in second case, if t naught is less than zero, then x of t is shifted to left. That we are getting the advanced version. In the in this problem, we can see that they are given the rectangular pulse signal x of t and this is the input unit amplitude and unit duration. Find y of t equal to x of t minus t. This is x of t. That is uh, x of t. It varies from minus one by two to one by two. Here we want to find the value of x of t minus two. Uh, before the here wh while we are finding the value of x of t minus two here it is shifted to right by two units. Therefore, we are getting the resultant product is the signal. The second one, that is the discrete time signal x of t here. Yeah, for n equal to 1 and 2, we are having the value as 1. For n equal to minus 1 and minus 2, we are having the value as minus 1. And here for n equal to 0 uh, and greater than 2, we are getting the value having the value as 0. Here, hence, they are asked to find the value of y of n equal to y of x of n plus 2. That is here, it is shifted, that is n equal to minus 3, that is it is shifted to left, uh, left by 2. 3 units that is minus 3 units therefore this is the resultant signal these are the sum of the quiz questions thank you